Fantastic. So we're uh, setting up, as you can see. Um, we're going to present the ReLearn Summer School. It's uh, a summer school we organized last year with uh, OSP, Open Source Publishing. Um, but it, we are also going to organize it this year. And then it will be with Constant in Variable. And Variable is a house we have in Brussels, or we got actually in Brussels. Um, it's a sort of, it's not a sort of, it's a free Libre open source software uh, arts lab where we have uh, four different ateliers uh, on open source hardware, open source uh, graphic design, open source video, open source sound. We try to connect those different fields um, and we also try to connect to people, artists, technicians, um, we try to connect people who are more or who are interested in this field or are not yet interested in this field. It's a bit, it's a sort of LGM, but you know, Bruxellois, um, a bit more from the art side, I think. Um, but uh, Alexandre is, we're set up now, and Alexandre is going to, uh, to explain more. Okay. Um, so, can you hear me? Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, this presentation is about uh, doing like a report of last year edition of, um, of uh, the summer school we organized, but it's also an invitation for you to uh, like uh, actually um, uh, apply uh, for the next edition that will happen, I think, in between the 11th of July. Uh, wait, <laughs> I need to check the dates. The 7th, the 6th. Till, 12. Uh, till the 12th of July in Brussels. So uh, I would like to talk a little bit about uh, why uh, we wanted to organize uh, this summer school and uh, one of the reasons so, um, is that in art school uh, digital is actually uh, like everywhere uh, even like if you are working um, for instance, you're a designer and you're working on print design, um, it's most likely like you will use a software to um, do your print design. So in a way, like print design nowadays, like very much digital. And this, um, we think that um, this uh, digital um, aspect is not very questioned in our school. Um, and uh, like the way like editors like Apple or Adobe are presenting software isn't very helping because um, they're, um, um, uh, they tend to, like they want to make the software transparent, put it in the back so that you don't think about it. And we think it's like a missed opportunity because uh, we think software is actually something you should think with or against. Uh, because software um, isn't only like functional, it's also like, um, like an interface that is a way to communicate with you uh, as a user. Um, it's also like patterns of use, it's uh, communities. Um, so it, it like, um, it's very much a cultural object as much as a functional uh, object. Um, and so what we like, um, why we are interested as artists uh, in free software is because in a way free software makes it visible because the software are, uh, you know that, um, are, are developed uh, by communities, um, the discussion are public uh, through mailing lists, uh, etc., etc. And so it helps to like to, to take into account uh, this, this, um, this cultural aspect for us. So uh, another reason why we wanted to organize a summer school was because many of us are actually teaching in art school and we are kind of unpleased with the way it's done. Uh, so I will take just two examples, like the teacher-student division uh, divide um, that uh, tends to um, maybe lead to a more passive uh, attitude toward um, those tools and what you can do with them. Um, and what we would like to uh, achieve in a way is to um, like rather than giving recipes, giving, giving methods that can be uh, reused and, and expanded in, with other software and other contexts. Um, and there is also what's very difficult for us is uh, also like the expectation, uh, for instance, from students uh, that you, 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 you already master what you're teaching. And uh, for that we had um, the example of um, 
uh, a workshop we did uh, in France and um, for the students, it was very disturbing that we came with a proposal to explore together uh, a topic because they were expecting us to actually master that topic and we didn't. So it was uh, a little bit difficult for that. So like I said, um, um, free software is nice because it makes the software uh, visible again. <coughs> And also because, um, like, the way knowledge is uh, exchanges, exchange um, um, in, in free software communities very much challenged uh, traditional education paradigms. Uh, for instance, the fact that it's, uh, uh, the knowledge is exchanged outside institutional borders and that uh, the participant can move easily between roles. Um, so I will just uh, quickly present to um, finish on this last year edition um, the different threads and the principle we set up. So um, we decided to organize uh, three different uh, the, the summer school around three different threads. The first one was called Can It Scale to the Universe? It was about the question of translation from big to small, from analog to digital, um, and vice versa. And it, it was focusing on mediation, translation, and communication. The second was gesturing path. Um, it was about uh, rediscovering font uh, through their skeleton, so the, the approach of drawing typefaces uh, through the skeleton rather than their outline. <laughs> Um, and uh, by that way to explore the relation between the body um, and the fonts, like the, the gesture and the fonts, uh, and how it's uh, translated into a digital environment. And the third one was organized together with uh, a school uh, named Kask uh, in Rent uh, in Belgium. And it was uh, focusing, so it was called off-grid, and it was focusing on, on patterns, pattern making. And uh, so a few of the principles we tried to set up was to first, so these three, um, these three different threads were more like uh, about bootstrapping the, um, like the school in a way, because we, we didn't want to do a workshop, we wanted something different. Um, so we decided to go for, um, to conscious, to people who are responsible for organizing these sessions among us, among OSP. Um, um, uh, what we wanted to do was to mix, okay, I will go faster then, uh, mixing level of confidence, comfort, interest, fields, uh, mixing, for instance, teachers, students, uh, long-time professional, new practitioner, free software user, or people who are new to free software. Um, uh, we wanted, we, what we tried to do was to mix uh, uh, presentation time, installation time, because sometimes installation uh, can be very, uh, like, uh, uh, boring in a way. Um, I mean, it's interesting, but uh, sometimes when it takes a day to install uh, like a Linux distribution, it's sometimes a little bit too much. So what we were doing was to uh, mix um, uh, this installation time with uh, presentation, with uh, exercises. Uh, what we had in common between the three threads were a couple of tools like Linux, uh, GNU Linux, um, Git, and uh, Etherpad, for instance. Um, and we wanted people to facilitate, we wanted to facilitate uh, the move between uh, one session to the other. So if you, subs well, you didn't subscribe to one session, you, you, could, you were uh, free to move from one session to the other, and even like fork and make your own session if you wanted to. Um, and um, we use Etherpad to make the documentation, taking notes, and uh, we use this to make a, uh, a PDF in the end, but I think Eric will talk about it later. Um, and um, we tried to set up issue tracker, but uh, uh, it, it uh, I don't know, it requires some, some thinking, I think. So anyway, we were very happy with the result because we think uh, many of the things we, we wanted to do, so like um, facilitating um, like a more horizontal uh, approach to education kind of work there. And uh, we are now doing a new edition so I will give the mic to Reis, uh, to Reis, who will explain. Yes. So, like uh, Alex explained, is that the work sessions we propose are 
a sort of context. Uh, it's a visual context, it's a technical context, um, and it's, it's a direction, it's an interest of us, but we uh, hope that the session takes us somewhere else, because we don't, do not know, we do not fully understand these, uh, these problems, but we think that, that there is something there. Um, so the first session we're going to do is uh, the social shell, which is an experiment where we're going to set up a network of Raspberry Pis, a mesh network of Raspberry Pis, uh, which you can access through the browser and then you have, can uh, have access to the shell through the browser and we try to collaboratively write in the shell and then this writing is, is a form of documentation, is an experiment with this new interface um, but it, it can also be uh, fictional. So it's a documentation on the summer school, um, it's, a doc it's an experiment on fiction and how does this new interface, this collaborative interface, this remote interface uh, influence your writing? What is the, what's the influence of all these different pies, where on all these different pies lives a different story. Playing Lines is heavily uh, influenced by the Pixels and Lines Orchestra, where, we, where, they, try, where they tried to turn uh, programs into sound machines. So you have Scribus, Inkscape, how can you uh, turn the input or output or the processes inside these programs into music? How does that, how is this conversion going? And with the Playing Lines we're going deeper, further, um, like we're going back to bit level and we try to <laughs> It's, 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 it's interesting, it will, we'll see how this actually will play out, because, you know, but the, we have a very, very clear fascination, at least Alex has a clear fascination on bits, and how these bits, you know, sort of can completely ruin your file, and can this also get into a sound, and, and how does, you know, it's a very small skill, but it can also ver be a very big skill, the, the skill of movement or people touching, so we'll see. Uh, rec reclaim your camera is an experiment to <laughs> to construct our own camera. Um, we are going to collaboratively build a new camera with Raspberry Pis or uh, other techniques, and we also try to rethink what a camera can be. You know, is it only taking pictures? How does it respond to its environment? And by constructing your own camera, as we at least I have always experienced, by doing it yourself, you always discover so much about the inner workings and the influences of your media. Drawing the imperfect circle uh, really starts at the idea that we have all these very simple uh, ideas or uh, constructs in our computers, like a circle, which is very easy, but to draw the perfect circle if, as a human, but also as a computer, takes quite some math. And for a lot of people, uh, this math is hidden. For you, of course, it isn't. But we're going to explore these maths, these algorithms. How does a computer, for example, with anti-aliasing trick, tricks us? Um, how does it try or pretend to draw a perfect circle while it doesn't at all? There is the open call. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's so yours. yeah, that's my. Do you hear me? Yeah. Uh, so as Alex uh, said uh, in the beginning, is that uh, so we are also here to uh, launch an open open call. So first of all, an open call for the participants, and also there is an open call for. Uh, workstation proposal. So I'm going to go quickly on the participant uh, open call, which is basically that uh, if you want to participate to this uh, um, summer school edition, you have to send an email to um, red, 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 ah, sorry. registration. Red, uh, anyway, you can read. <laughs> and um, explaining a bit about you, uh, what are you doing, and, uh, and what does excite you in uh, relearning something, and, and yeah, what do you want to come to this uh, summer school. And um, so the deadline is the 25th of uh, April, and uh, you, we will give an answer on the 5th of May. So, and uh, this uh, summer edition, we we want to make a bit different, like um, um, 
Last year, it was really into uh, OSP uh, group, all the proposal that we uh, that we did propose for the workshop, the work sessions. And so this year is already uh, a bit more wide, like uh, because this is all in the variable in between the variable house. So there is uh, I don't know. Yeah, you explain that a bit. And uh, and we want to make also an open an open call for the for a wider network, uh, which is not only Brussels and uh, only variable. So anybody actually can uh, submit a proposal for, for this summer edition. Um, what could be a good proposal, I mean, what we think is interesting is uh, if you manage to explain us, uh, in fact, what does excite you, what could, um, what could, um, um, uh, what what you would like to experiment with uh, with uh, with open software and so a proposal it's not is uh, won't be necessary focused on uh, learning uh, uh, open software but more um, more like what would you like to relearn I don't know if it's quite clear but um, so and around that there is like some classical frame on uh, what uh, will make a good proposal like you have to write something that will be in between 500 words and 1000 words uh, you have to decide of two conscience I will explain that a bit later you have to so two people will uh, take care about um, about uh, the workstation um, you have to decide uh, to invite one guest during this wo this work session and what more the there's also some budget so we yeah. propose we we, we, and it, you, we give you a uh, thousand euros uh, and there is travel budget for one person and participation is free for participants. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and there is also a travel fee for the party for the guests yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, what is a conscience? Because I think it's really important to explain that. Uh, so, there is you should be too conscient for a project, and conscience uh, will means that uh, first of all that you will be there the two of the conscience uh, during the six days. It um, means that uh, you are kind of responsible of uh, the organization of the work session, gathering materials and uh, prepare prepare and present the proposal uh, during the, the first day of the summer school. But it doesn't mean that uh, you will be the teacher during the, 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 the work session. Uh, actually, like last year, uh, people who were the conscience of uh, one proposal could also go to other proposal and also other um, uh, work session. So um, it's more like you are you you are, you are responsible sorry uh, to organize the stuff in the beginning but and that for that role you you you've been paid and uh, voila i think that's what i and also the deadlines are the same uh, deadlines on the 25th of april and uh, results on the 5th of may and i think i said all yeah maybe I would just like to mention um, that um, so we did the documentation last year and uh, we produced uh, a, a PDF that if you go to the website uh, relearn.be, uh, you'll see at the bottom of the page, um, I think, yeah, downloading the PDF so you can download uh, uh, like the documentation of last year edition to have like a better you can see uh, yeah and you have a live cop live copy yeah, like a like printed copy there uh, and you can also order a copy on lulu.com I think this is it <laughs> <laughs>